One very small site in Greece that has had a tremendous impact on our modern world is the sanctuary of the god Zeus and the goddess Hera at a little place called Olympia. Olympia was named for Mount Olympus in northern Greece where these two gods were located as having their home address in classical times. And we now come to our left, a latecomer among the great buildings of Olympia. A circular building, a tholos, from the circular base of which rise beautiful ionic marble columns in a circle, and inside were the portraits of three very important people. Philip II, King of Macedon, in the middle and late part of the 4th century BC, his wife Olympias, Queen of Macedon, and their son Alexander, eventually to become known as Alexander the Great. Why are they here? They are here because of that idea that Olympia was a Panhellenic shrine. The Macedonian rulers were Greek. They spoke Greek. They were descended from Greeks who had gone north to Macedon and set themselves up as a ruling dynasty over Macedonian tribes. But there was some argument about whether they had lost their Greekness by going north. A predecessor of Philip II's in the previous century had won the right to compete in the Olympic Games as a Greek after a, a scrutiny by the city-state that was in charge of the Games at that time. Philip II wanted to reassert that claim, we, the kings of Macedon, are Greeks, because he was setting himself up to be recognized as the leader supreme, the king, the commander-in-chief of all Greeks. He wanted to use the Panhellenic tradition at Olympia to create the idea of a Panhellenic political unit with himself and later his son Alexander as the head. 